The next example, this one. We have here given the equation 2 over 2x plus 3 minus 1 over 5 equal to 1. Find the value of x. So we have here, now, oh, first, that's 1. So first is, we're going to make, you see, you see that on the left-hand side, we have two terms. This one and this one. So again, application of what we have learned about before the, the common denominator, okay? So we're going to make our denominator the same, okay? So by that, we will multiply in this term. We will multiply 5 over 5. And in this term, we're going to multiply 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 3, right? So that we will have... Uh, uh, common denominator, the same denominator, just like this, this one. So I multiplied by 5 over 5 for this, and I multiplied 2x plus 3 for this. So if we multiply this, multiply, you will have, when this one is 10, this one is 5 times 2x, is 10x, then 15. So the same, we will, we're going to have the same denominator. Here we have 2x plus 3 because we have only one here. So there we go. So this is 10. Then we have uh, 10x. So 5 times 2x is 10x. Then 5 times 3 is 15. So as well as with this side, the same. Okay? And we can combine this, these two terms, because our denominator are the same, right? So we can write that like that, like this one. So from negative 2x, negative 2x, and this one is positive, right? So positive and negative becomes negative. Okay? So positive, this is positive here, and negative, negative times positive is negative, right? So we have 10 minus 2x minus 3 over 10x plus 15 is equal to 1. Did you understand it? Try to think again. Yes, okay, thank you. Now we continue. So we simplify this, okay? We simplify this, so we subtract 10 minus 3, and that would be how much? 7 minus 2x, right? over 10x plus 15. There we go. And by this, we transpose this one. You can combine this or transpose this to the other side. Again, 10x plus 15 times 1 becomes 10x plus 15. Okay? And combine this, 10 minus 3 is 7 minus 2x. And again, this one, we transpose minus 2x to the other side becomes positive. Okay, and this one is positive 15. I transpose the other side becomes negative. Okay, and we combine this. 7 minus 15 is minus 8, and 10x plus 2 is 12x. Okay, did you understand for this? That's the thing. Now again, this one, from this one, you can simplify this uh, already, just like this, 7. Or you can let, uh, let it be like this and transpose this, this one, 10x plus 15 going up here. Multiply with 1. Okay? So that you will have only a linear equation. I mean to say, a line equation without a denominator. Because if there would be denominator, it's still complicated. But if your equation would be look like this, this one. So this is a line equation. Then it will be simpler for you to figure out the answer. Na? So that is why uh, I'm, I transpose this. This uh, term towards 1, multiply by 1, so that uh, the after equation would be a line equation just like this. Now, you can simplify it further. So, 10 minus 3 is 7, and we have minus 2x, but we transpose minus 2x because this is 10x uh, bigger than minus 2x. So, minus 2x transpose to the right side, it becomes positive. Na? And this one is positive 15. I transpose to the left side, becomes negative. Na? Becomes negative. Okay? So we minus this. 7 minus 15 is minus 8. And this one is 12x. So therefore, our answer here, we transpose 12. over. This will be over 8. Uh, 8 over 12. Like that. Okay? And we simplify negative 8 over 12. That would be divided by 4. So you will have negative two-thirds. Did you understand, my? Take a look again. Try to understand. And you watch again. You can watch again the video. Okay? 
Now we go to our next example. Uh, oh, no, 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 next example. But checking. We're going to check first whether our answer here is correct. X is negative 3, uh, 2, 3, 2 third. Now this one. So this is our original expression, this one, equation. 2 over 2x plus 3 minus 1 over 5 equals to 1. Okay. Now we substitute now here. Our x is negative 2 over 3. Right? So we try out, uh, we substitute the value of x is 1 with negative 2 over 3. Okay? Then after that, we simplify this. How much this one? 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 over 3. Right? When you multiply this, so 2 times 2 is 4 with negative over 3 plus 3. And we copy everything. Okay? Then after that, we cross multiply this. Cross multiply this. 3 times 3 is 9 over 3. Okay? So minus 4 plus 3 times 3 is 9 over 3. So this cross multiply. You see, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 1 is negative 4. Then 3 times, so this is over 1, right? 3 over 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. Okay? So that's why we have this one. And you copy again this. So we go back, uh, we go to this one. We simplify this one. So negative 4 plus 9 is 5 over 3, right? So negative 4 plus 9 is 5 over 3. Okay? And we copy again everything. And by this, this is division, right? So we change the operation to multiplication, but we need to inverse this one, 5 over 3. So from this is 2, 2 over 1 times 3 over 5. Inverse, get the inverse of this, 3 over 5. Okay? Minus 1 over 5, then you copy. This one is 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 5 is 5. Minus 1 over 5 equals to 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. Then 5 over 5 is 1. So you will see that our left-hand side and our right hand side are equal with 1. So therefore, we can say that our answer, which is x is equal to negative 2, 3, 2 thirds, is correct. Did you understand? Again, try to look back here, and if you don't understand, you can ask me anytime. Please, please. I want you to understand it. Nah? Okay, now we go to the next one here. So we have here given the equation 7x minus 2 plus 3 times 1 minus 2x is equal to 2x plus 1. So find the value of x. So this one is a line equation already. It's a line. So it's easier. Just only to expand this. So multiply, distribute. So we have here 7x minus 2 and we multiply this. 3 times 1 is 3 and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. That's 1. And negative 6x is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay? Now, you can uh, combine or transpose. So, for this, so we need to combine this one. And 2x will be transposed from here going to the right side, or left side. Okay? From here going to the left side. This is positive, right? So, if we're going to move this here, this will be negative 2x. Negative 2x. And this one is, how much is this? This is minus 2 plus 3 is 1, right? Minus 2 plus 3 is 1, positive 1. If we're going to transpose it here, it will be negative 1, okay? Negative 1. So we transpose. So we have here uh, 7x minus 6x minus 2x, okay? And this one is transposed already. We have 1. We transpose this first minus to positive, positive to minus. Remember that when you transpose the term, it will change the, the sign just only for the line equation. Just like this, uh, from left to right or right to left. Nah? So this is negative and put to the right, it will be positive. This is positive, put to the right, becomes negative. This is positive, go put the, to the left, becomes negative. Okay? Just only the sign if you are moving that to the left or to the right. Now we simplify this. So we have 7x minus 6x is 1 minus 2x is minus x. Okay? And here we have uh, 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 3 is 0. So we have x is equal to 0. That's the value of x here. Okay? Now we're going to substitute this 
to our original expression to check whether that is correct. So if our left hand side and right hand side are correct, then are the same, then they are equal. So you see, from the original here, this one, we copy, right? And I substituted the value of x, the value of x, the value of x to be 0, 0, 0. Nah? So this is 7 times 0 is 0, then minus 2, minus 2. This will be 0, right? 1 minus 0 is 0. Oh, minus 0 is 1, sorry. 1 minus 0 is 1, times 3 is 3, okay? So on the other hand, we have the right side, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. So we have 9 minus 3 plus 1 is positive 1. So you will see that our left-hand side and right-hand side are equal. Therefore, the value of x is correct. That is 0. Did you understand? Do you have any question? So I hope that you understand these examples. Okay? Again, please ask me if you don't understand. And please, for those students, please don't be lazy for this time. I want to help you and that's why we're preparing this video so that you still learning remember that our midterm exam is very near so what will happen if you will be lazy for this time you cannot answer the, the test you will get zero right so please uh, every time that I uh, I posted this the video then please watch the video and answer the activity so that I will know if you really understand our lesson Na? so that's only one thing that you will show to me if you participated and if you really understand our lesson okay now we have here our exercise for today this one our activity so figure out find the value of the variable the variable X find the value of X we have three numbers and again, please submit this uh, before 4 p.m. today. Before 4 p.m. today. Okay? Did you understand, my? And we're going to have homework. We're going to have homework. So I will be posting your homework later. And uh, you will submit that next week. Okay? So I will be preparing your homework. Uh, similar to this one and uh, I will be posting that later here in Google Classroom. Na? Please help us together so we fight as one. Hopefully that you will also participate so that uh, all of us will be happy. Na? Because New Year is coming, uh, we must be happy and uh, we must be relaxed. Okay? So again, that's all for today and uh, see you again next time.